I just knew that my skin was reacting to it, right? <laughs> I have those things on my neck too. Hello my lovelies, welcome to another vlog you guys. This vlog is going to be really really short you guys. Now in this video I'm going to be going on a very long rant about how I used something that almost ruined my face. <laughs> but first let me make lunch to pack to work. Good morning guys. So it's morning and it's a weekday <laughs> it's been a while since i vlogged during a week on a weekday in the morning so yeah today is when today is wednesday so you guys i'm starting this vlog because i want to report i want to report that neutrogena stubborn acne to you guys i remember the last time i vlogged i showed you guys that I just got it because you know I want to fight my stubborn acne. Not like I have crazy, crazy acne, but like it gets yeah. annoying sometimes when they just I get like three on one side, two on another side, and then it leaves dark spots. So I'm like, this is my journey. I'm on my journey to clear skin, glass skin, you know. <laughs> so I'm like. <coughs> Let me try it out because cheesy Duru had similar skin concerns and she used it and it worked and i read it, the direction said so you don't need to rub it only on the problem area you can apply it all over your face which i did and it says it's an am treatment but she advised to use it in the pm and since it has benzoyl peroxide peroxide alone it sounds like something that corrodes in my opinion in my small sense i'm not a scientist <laughs> so it sounds like something that will be ash on the skin so i decided i will be using it only at night so i used it on saturday and sunday night on monday morning i was washing my face i just felt like my skin felt rough then when I got to the mirror, look at what I saw. Do you see all this texture? The camera is not doing justice to it. Like, see, see my face. So the moment I saw that, I realized that, wait, my skin is reacting to this. I have never, re okay, yeah, I just knew that my skin was reacting to it, right? My skin has never reacted this way to any product before that I can remember. So I stopped it immediately. Immediately I went online, I went on YouTube, I was looking for, then I started, that was when I now went to research the product. And then I saw proper ways to use it, some advice used as a mask or something like that. So I even men mentioned on one of, asked on one of the videos and told the person <coughs> what I'm experiencing. And they were like, oh, you should definitely use it as a mask. That probably your skin is reacting to it. Your skin is very sensitive. I didn't know I had sensitive skin. So yeah, I imagine what I should have done before. I was saying after, and you know. It just took two days for this thing to come out. It's not going to take two days for it to vanish. Oh, so I was looking for, I went again on YouTube yesterday at work to find out like ways to get rid of such reactions. I saw someone that has had similar reactions, but just as a result of being out in the um, temperate region for too long. On, out on the beach and all that just from dryness basically so she used aloe vera gel thankfully i have aloe vera plants so i i plucked one and got the gel out of it i made it i i got one refrigerated so that it could be cool 
then i got the gel out of it to apply on my face for like 10 minutes and then i rinsed it off and i think well i think it suited my skin like because yesterday on my way back from work but yesterday at work it was itchy kind of but last night when i applied that gel no more itchiness so i guess that's going to work i don't know whether i'll use this morning shower so yes i came to update you guys <laughs> on what Neutrogena did to me yeah so i'll just go check on my food and get ready for work i'll see you guys later guys i was so much in a hurry to leave for work that i didn't show you my pot of concussion rice <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the vlog so i just go back from work took a shower and now i want to apply my aloe vera gel it's been in the fridge Ooh, it's cool so yeah those things on my neck too like under my chin oh god i'm supposed to, i was supposed to film the outro for my video yesterday but because of this i can't apply makeup over this i just can't so i'll just chill and see how my skin recovers until saturday then i'll film the outro just is the opportunity to do other content so guys i'm done with the application it's itchy you guys my face is itchy right now in my neck so i'm just going to go ahead and get on with my day rest a bit and just carry on with my evening <laughs> i'll catch you later guys welcome back again so this is the day after the last clip i just got back from work took a shower i've not applied anything to my face i still have those those disturbances <laughs> hopefully by saturday it all clears out so yeah i just want to make um a father sauce i'm already cooked the off house yesterday so i'm just going to go fry it and hopefully i'm able to make my father's sauce today there's no light and i need to blend the peppers you guys wish me luck this is how i bleach my palm oil without covering the whole kitchen or having the whole kitchen covered in smoke i pour in my palm oil and i cover the pan with a fitting lid and just leave it to eat up for about 10 to 15 minutes and then all you just see you just see all the smoke inside of the pan and after that when you're satisfied with how bleached the oil has gotten you can now turn up down the heat or turn off the heat and let the smoke slowly disappear or evaporate through that hole on the lid or you can take it outside and open the lid that is how i bleach my oil without covering my entire kitchen with smoke So I went on and made my father's sauce this night too and yes this is the end of the video you guys I hope you enjoyed it it was really short but I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section what you think about the video and I'll catch you on my next one bye please guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe <laughs> bye